Got a big old burb. Man, she's beautiful, eh? Look at those colors. I'm gonna measure up, see what she is. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm just do, doing a little tutorial today. Um, we're gonna be cleaning a bourbon. Uh, this was the bourbon we caught up on Lake Manitoba. I'll post uh, the link for the video up, uh, up right here. Uh, but yeah, nice 28 inch bourbon. So uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna strap you guys to my chest, get you guys right in there, and uh, I'll show you guys how to clean and prepare a bourbon. So there she is, big old Billy Burbit. So um, they actually go by quite a few names uh, here in Manitoba. It also goes by Mariah. They're also known as Eel Pout, and they're also uh, known as Lawyer. Uh, I'm sure there's definitely more names out there, but. Uh, yeah, the fish have many names. A lot of people don't actually eat these fish, which is a shame because they are actually delicious. So we're also gonna cook this up tomorrow. And I'll show you guys what we're gonna do here. We're going to uh, make a pancake batter, homemade pancake batter, and we're gonna fry this up. All right, so let's start cleaning this thing. So first thing I do is cut all the way around the head. Make sure you go through all the skin. There we go. There we go. Now when you're around the skin, what you're gonna do is you're going to grab a set of pliers, any sort of pliers really, and you're gonna grab the skin right here and you're gonna start pulling. Um, you can take these, you can and nail the head right onto a board. That also makes it pretty easy, but you know, if you're in the house, you don't have a board and nail, that's the way you do it. You just work your way right around. Now some people actually use the skin and make a uh, a fish leather out of it. I won't be doing that right now, but maybe one day I'll do that. So, so yeah, it just peels off nice and easy. Not hurt at all. Actually, burbot's one of the easiest fish to uh, to clean. There you go, that's it, there's the skin. Easy peasy. Okay, next step is gonna go right here and we're gonna remove this fin. Just peels right off, easy, just like that. Go down here. You can take your pliers and do, it, do this with your pliers. There you go. And then we got a little one right here. Bam. Okay. So, 
all the meat you'll see very 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 easy to, to cut out so right here you're gonna feel the spine right I'm just gonna cut right down until you hit the rib bones so you'll hear it go, so do both sides There's also a, a little fin here that you pull off actually. There we go. Okay, there you go. Found that bone. Now what you're gonna do is gonna follow it. And you're gonna cut the meat right off of that rib bone. You'll feel where it goes. You'll feel where the bones are. It's actually really big bones. So, see th those other bones are right here. So, I'm gonna go. So you gotta be careful so you don't want to there we go. So that's gonna be. Uh, see, a lot of people will just take take just that back strap, but uh, there's a lot more good uh, meat on this thing. So here, we'll go right back here, and here you'll just. Uh, now you can just take it right down the tailbone. Like you would any other fillet. It's full of the bones. There you go. So there's the back strap, there's the tail. So I'm gonna do the other side. Now, these also have, there's a nice big piece of meat right here, right in the stomach, that a lot of people, a lot of, most people just stop right there. But, so, if you follow these bones right here, I can use my other knife for this one. So, you know, just right in here, just follow that, those bones. You'll feel the top of the bones. That's all I'm doing is following the bones. So, since burbot is a uh, freshwater lingcod, the liver on the burbot actually has four times the amount of vitamin D and vitamin A that um, co like cod have. They are a, a member of the cod family. Uh, they are freshwater uh, lingcod, basically. So. Um, <coughs> But yeah, I haven't tried it yet. I've heard some that they can be pretty nasty, so I will try it one day. So there you go. There's the belly, belly meat. Nice piece of belly meat. So I'm gonna soak this in a little bit of salt water. Yeah, tomorrow we're uh, I'm gonna fry this up in some pan pancake batter. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Hey guys, next day. So now we're in the kitchen. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna cook up this this burbot. I got the old uh, cast iron pan. Heating up right there with some olive oil, gonna throw some butter in there. 
Uh, I'm gonna mix up a uh, pancake batter to go with this. Uh, my grandpa actually gave me this idea and he's actually the one who showed me how to make these pancakes. Uh, very, very easy recipe. Um, I kind of wing things, so I don't really have an, any amounts of things. So start off with one egg. Crack in there. And then we're going to uh, bust it up. Nicely busted up. Okay. Let's grab some milk. We're not, we don't need that much batter, so um, with that much milk, I'd say what half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Three quarters cup. Sure, why not? And then add some flour. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker than I normally make it. Uh, this pancake recipe is actually a thin pancake. No, not a crepe, but a thin pancake. And uh, so we're gonna whisk it up. So, still pr really thin. So I'm gonna put a little bit more flour. That's a little bit better. I'm happy with that. Maybe I'll put just a little do more dollop of, uh, one more dollop. Cause I said I didn't want, I want to make it thicker than normally the pancakes, so. Okay. Now the last piece of the puzzle, a little baking powder. Maybe, uh, Tablespoonish. Nice if I got it right in there. There we go. Just mix it all up. Okay. Let that rest for a minute. So what the baking powder is actually gonna do is it's gonna raise it a little bit and make it uh, the batter nice and fluffy. So I've let it sit there for a couple minutes. You'll see uh, air bubbles developing in it. That means it's definitely working. So all I do now, I actually I cubed all these pieces so I did cut them in little squares. So I'll just throw that into your pancake batter. Like that. Mix it all in there nicely. Boom. Okay, so I'll bring it over to the stove here. Alright, let's drop our butter in here. Oh, yeah, she's nice and hot, that's for sure. So, another nice chunk of butter in there. I just add the butter for a little bit of flavor. Flavoring. I think it makes uh, the oil taste a little bit better. And... Alright, let's move this butter around. Let's get it all mixed in here. Since we've got some nice hot oil, let that butter warm up a little bit too. So I've never personally tried this recipe for burbot, so I'm actually really excited to see how it's going to taste. Um, who knows, maybe it's crap. I doubt it. Pancake batter on anything tastes good. So, we're just going to take our, our pieces here, and then just pull them up one at a time. And drop them in that nice hot oil.
I mean, you can do this with walleye, you can do this with pike, you can do this with crappy, perch. I mean, you can even do this with rainbow. I, there's probably no fish you can't really do this with. So, this a nice. So there you go. You just put these in as you as uh, you pull the other pieces out, and you keep cooking it until there's nothing left. Just a little bit. Well guys, this is the last batch that I'm doing up. It's coming out pretty good. You can see that 20 inch burb. Man, that's a lot of food. Now, I'm gonna give this deal a little test for the first try. See how good this actually is. Actually, I'm lying, this is the first try at all. I've been eating this the whole time and cooking. It's freaking delicious. Oh. This is by far my favorite way to eat burbot so far. Man, that is good. That's so good. If you guys uh, have the chance to get a burbot, try it out. It's worth it. Lots of people uh, don't really respect those fish, but they are tasty. There's no limit on them, so go to town. Anyways, thanks for watching this uh, Catch, Clean, and Cook. Hope you guys learned something about cleaning and preparing burbot. Like I said, they are a fantastic fish. Very easy to clean. Very, um, very fun to catch. They definitely fight like a bugger. Like I said, a little pancake batter, a little oil, a little butter, and you got yourself a tasty, tasty treat. Is this healthy? No, probably not, but don't come to this channel to looking for healthy food. Well, sometimes we'll make some healthy food if it's delicious, but you're for sure gonna find some delicious food. Hey Olivia, did you try daddy's fish yet? How does it taste? I'm um, good. Really good? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna go to town on that? Yeah. Yeah? Mmm. Mm. But anyways, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.